Coogan Cassis for Alpha TV and Association with Matt Jim Marbar at the O2 for Heavy Duty post show interview with Eddie Hearn. Expected with Ernie uh, Joshua? Not, probably not that quick. I mean, to be honest, coming out the first sort of 30 seconds, I was thinking, hello. You know, Cornish came out, tried to take the middle of the ring, popped a jab, hit him with a left hook, and he tried to do it again. He just got buttoned. I mean, you're just not going to stand up to his power. Simple as, doesn't matter who you are. And, um, you know, unbelievable atmosphere in here tonight. When he walked out, it's just, you know, it's special to watch. And uh, it doesn't matter whether it's Gary Cornish or, you know, any heavyweight. I just don't believe when they get hit like that on the chin, they're going to carry on. Dylan White obviously kept to his side of the bargain ahead of uh, December the 12th uh, with a, a strange win over uh, Brian Minto, mm. but he nevertheless got him out there after three rounds. So mm. I think both of them have had a lot to deal with this week in terms of thinking about that fight. Minto, Minto's decent, you know, and uh, he's got good banter. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, he, but he's awkward and he's small and he, you know, he, he had a go. And actually he got, he got buttoned by a right hand and left hook to the top of the head. And a lot of people thought, oh, that's a strange stoppage. If you watch it back, it wasn't. Mm. And if he wanted to quit Minto, he could have done it in the first or second round quite easily because he got buttoned. Um, but, just watching the highlights now. Just wait one second. We have to cut it, but I just want to see. Uh... Yeah, camera. So yeah, Minto, you know, he, he had a go, but he got it and didn't want it. It's hard. Had a little injury, said to his shoulder, but thankfully nothing, uh, nothing major. And we're all set. December the twelfth. British Commonwealth. Bad intentions. Tickets go on sale. Pre-sale. Fight pass on Monday. General sale on Wednesday. Get your fingers ready. You expecting to sell out in the post? In an hour. Yeah. Um, you know, you contemplate the idea of possibly putting Joshua in on Sheffield mm. on the 24th. I haven't, I haven't had a chance to speak to him. I mean, he's fit, he's ready to go, but obviously it depends. It's, it's only 13 or 14 weeks. I know that sounds like a long time, but the time you've had two or three weeks off, bang, you're back to your training camp. So, um, you know, uh, and I don't really want to risk that fight, you know, anything. So I'd, I'd rather just, just uh, get the ball rolling, have some lively press conferences with yourself. You're loving that one, aren't you? You can't wait. I can't wait. It's can't wait. Let's go Fury 24th and yeah. then Dylan White and Joshua I think, on the 12th, um, December. People will say, you know, oh, Gary Cornish, but I just don't believe, you know, and I, what, what is Dylan going to do when he gets it on the chin like that? I mean, I mean, Dylan's game and he's talented. It's a good test, but I just think this guy is just on another level. <laughs> Um, well, I've got a press conference for uh, Joshua soon, but it's a summary of the rest of the card. Obviously, um, Charlie Edwards becoming a uh, yeah, boxed, champion. Yeah, boxed his heroes off. I didn't expect that. I mean, the, the four fights we've seen from Charlie Edwards so far has been just all action trading, and this fight was totally different. He boxed him off the back foot, won every round. A really mature performance. Not as exciting as, as I half expected, but, you know, I think... Again, you know, a guy who's had four fights, just out boxing a guy, I think he's ready to move on to British title fights and, you know, European and, and so forth. And a very, very good performance. John Wayne Hibbert, I mean, lucky boy, lucky boy. Dave Ryan, four or five fight, uh, rounds up and back, just... Back when? Back yeah. when, and, and, then, and then Hibbert nailed him with a right hand and he was, he was out over the top of me. And... Uh, feel for Dave Ryan because he yeah. boxed nicely. So again, like a, a performance I didn't really expect from him either. A mature performance, boxed him. And uh, you know, he was he was up up on the cards and, and the fight just turned on its head. Mm, wins for uh, Danny Cassis gone over. Yeah, big win for Danny Cassis gone. Yeah. I mean, you know, Ricky is a tough loss that is for Ricky Boylan. Um, Danny Connor boxed one of the best I've seen in his career. Tommy Martin, full credit to Michael Devine. I mean it was a great fight. Uh, Jake, Jake Martin Jake, up now, can't yeah, you? Yeah, I think Hibbert against uh, Tommy Martin's a good yeah. fight. Um, Hibbert against Bradley Saunders is a great fight. Um, the rematch people you know, will want to see as well, number four. <laughs> um, big wins for Ted Cheeseman, for Jake Ball. Brilliant debuts from both fighters. Yeah. Uh, Reese Bellotti there at the end, always full of excitement, got a bit carried oh, away. Davis but, yeah, Ohio from. Davis was sensational. Good win for Lucian Reed, good learning fight. And that was it. Right? Okay, that was it. Yeah. Um, okay, well, listen, um, quick word. George Graves obviously fighting. For yeah, the, good luck to him tonight. Well uh, I think, I, I 
think he'll do it. I think he'll do it. I'll get the feeling yeah, he's going to do it. I think he's got to do it inside seven or eight. Yeah. Fingers crossed. And uh, good luck to Bert Overall. Yeah. Do you think he'll win around? I don't know. Could you imagine? Well, if you don't, Floyd's 100 to 1. Right, can I ask you a question? Yeah. What would have been a bigger shock to you, Cornish one or Berto one? No disrespect to any of these guys. I think fighters, Joshua was like 33 to 1 on. But what would have shocked you more? Purely because they're heavyweights, probably Berto with him. Hmm. I think Freud will stop him. Hasn't stopped anyone since. Victor Ortiz, yeah, yeah. if you count that, and then right, Ricky Hatton before, Ricky Hatton before that. Come on. All right, have you got anything else you want to add? No. Olympia next week, tickets yep. still on sale? Uh, not, I think maybe a couple, but it's only held 1600. All right. Eddie, thanks for talking to Eiffel TV, and uh, catch up with you soon. Cheers, mate. Cheers.